do-it-yourself GPS ring with your smartphone. And the singular XYZ Y1 GNS receiver. So what we will do is to connect this phone with a professional GNS receiver which is called Y1. Let's see how the Y1 GNS receiver of XYZ looks like. Oh, some cables and there we have it. It's a small one. Really small. If you compare it with the phone you have, it's not that big. It has, as I can see, two swap ball batteries. It's all plop. It comes out. There are two. What do we need for do it yourself GPS surveying except for your smartphone and this Y1 GNS receiver? We need a rod. Wow. I will assist. Y1 GNS receiver. You need to let the rod do the job. So hold it and just. Otherwise, the risk of dropping this one will be greater. Bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Can you turn it on? Please? Let me see. I have to press this one. Lights are burning. The lights are burning. Device check. Device check. It makes a beep. And when it beeps, it's ready. On the smartphone, we also need something to do ourselves. GPS surveying, right? App Lost Survey Wizard. You can see in the description where you can download this app. But I already have it here on my phone. As you can see, we have to make sure that we have the right height of this antenna. Yeah. So, we go to other right. settings. And the right height is not only the rod height, but it's also the ARP. Antenna so reference point. So what we have to do is to, we have a rod of 2 meters high and we have to add 0, 6, 3 to it. And then we can click OK. Okay. And no, another time. Okay. And now we have to make a connection with this Y1 GNS receiver. We go to settings, click on connections, click on Bluetooth, and then it searches for all the Bluetooth devices. And we have already found the Y1 GNS receiver. We want to pair, and now it's already paired. So we go back to Apple's Survey Wizard. Then we go to the Connect menu, click on Connect, and there we have the Y1 GNS receiver. And there you see also the type of GNS receiver. And there we have to select Y1. Of course, you can fill in all your entry data, but in some countries there is a server option that we will use. After that, when you select all this, we can select the connect button and then it will connect. And we already have a position which is very fast. Now we have to wait till we get an RTK. So we had an SPS. And so we have to wait a little bit longer. Float RTK. Five. Four. Three, two, one. And now we have an RTK. You're <laughs> perfect! How you can do that? X-ray has magical powers. Now we are here and we, of course, need to make a layer. We add a layer and uh, the layer will be named point. Point. And we make it green like the colors of Singular XYZ. And then we click OK and we click OK again. And then we can select it. And what we then only have to do is for do-it-yourself GPS surveying is to click on the point. And now we map the point. But this Y1 GNS receiver can do more. Yes, it can. It can be all with an angle. But for that, we need to do something a little bit different. So we go to the connect menu and click on connect again. So what we do is that we put the type of receiver i1 plus imu and I'm then you. imu I'm you. so then we click connect again <coughs> and now things will happen it says wait for rtk it has rtk still have to wait and then it says hold still now it says to shake 
bigger shakes, please. Now it says OK. So now we can measure with the tilt function. OK. Hold it with the tilt, please. <laughs> tilt. Don't fall. And we click point. And we measured a point with the tilt function of the i1 GNS receiver. So, with only a smartphone, a GPS rod, and this i1 GNS receiver, you can do yourself GPS survey. And of course, that's not the only thing, because you can also do it with some other equipment. You can see more about it here.